Hello friends subscribe to our channel GDC and press the bell icon for more updates. Hello friends, welcome back once again. In the today video lecture, we are going to discuss the synthesis of ibuprofen. What is the ibuprofen? Ibuprofen is an anti-inflammatory, non-steroidal anti-inflammatory drugs, means NSAIDs. So, here first, ibuprofen is ibuprofen is NSAIDs non steroidal anti inflammatory drugs which class propionic acid derivative ibuprofen is propionic acid derivative there is one important point ibuprofen is the world's highest using nasads so ibuprofen is widely used NSAIDs in the world all over the world it's the widely used drug let's discuss the synthesis of ibuprofen firstly have the a structure of the ibuprofen and the name of the ibuprofen how it's determined okay ibuprofen have three name here ibuprofen here basically ibu is came from the word isobutyl isobutyl pro propionic acid propionic acid and fen from the phenyl very interesting ibuprofen ibu isobutyl pro propionic acid fen phenyl how let's draw the structure of the ibuprofen at the para position there is isobutyl ring 1 2 here cs3 and here CS3 isobutyl ring as here it's the propionic acid propionic acid C CS3 C double OH here is mainly three major group first this is the isobutyl ring this propionic acid and this phenyl ring so by the structure of this this name was defined ibuprofen now let's discuss the synthesis of the ibuprofen so this starting of the synthesis ibuprofen take place from the isobutyl benzene isobutyl benzene here cs3 this is the isobutyl benzene when this isobutyl benzene comes under the acetylation in the presence of cs3 co the whole twice and o acetylation acetylation okay so after the acetylation what happened here cs3 c double oh cs3 c double oh get removed out it's the eliminator point this cs3 co will get attached on this position you can name here iso butyl benzene isobutyl benzene 
after the acetylation what will form here after the acetylation your new structure will like this it have the isobutyl chain and here it joined with C double bond O and CS3 this intermediate form what is the name of this Its name is isobutyl acetophenone isobutyl acetophenone when this isobutyl acetophenone undergoes the reaction with hydrogen cyanide hydrogen cyanide then what happened your cyanohydrin derivative form here cyanohydrin derivative this here isobutyl chain CS3 CS3 and here C this OH H and here CS3 this CN attached here this is the intermediate here cyanohydrin derivative its name is cyanohydrin derivative now this cyanohydrin derivative when undergoes the reduction in the presence of hydrogen iodide hydrogen iodide reduction followed by hydrolysis followed by the hydrolysis then what happened your final compound ibuprofen form mainly here cyanide group will get from the carboxylic ring like this cs3 cs3 c c double bond oh it have the h and here cs3 means all three rings here first propionic acid cs3 ch c double h phenyl and as well as isobutyl so it's your final compound ibuprofen very easy first isobutyl benzene reacted with the acetylation process and form the isobutyl estophenone by the passing hydrogen cyanide it forms the cyanohydrin derivative this cyanohydrin derivative undergoes the hydrogen iodide reduction followed by the hydrolysis and then it forms the ibuprofen this is the synthesis of the ibuprofen thank you